Visual News 的啊的这个 team 的的呃领导的人啊，那他。Why are you moving so slowly? Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to. No, no, no. I'm, I'm waiting for you to come over. So I had to bump you up. Um. Hey，我们。啊，那呃，他其实他是一个记者，同时也是一个城市设计师。啊，那他呃，他其实有一个工具在 Tarbell. Can you talk about Tarbell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, uh, okay, good. Uh, so if you missed my talk on Friday, this is how you contact me and also the link to the slides uh, from Friday, just really briefly. Uh, so today what I want to talk about is Tarbell, which is a static site publishing platform. It was developed for journalists at the Chicago Tribune, my former employer, um, and is now used all across the news industry in the United States. Uh, Al Jazeera is using it, PBS is using it, uh, a bunch of smaller newspapers are using it. And so the idea of Tarbell is that it makes site publishing easy, and to go to what Justin was saying, it sort of makes uh, certain types of projects reusable. Um, and so since I'm lazy, I didn't make any slides, so that I, what I thought we would do right now is use Tarbell to make the slides for my presentation. Um, so hopefully, let's see, there we go. So, all right, I'm gonna open up my terminal. Um, if you go to uh, tarbell.io, uh, you can learn how to install Tarbell. I'm not gonna include that part of this presentation, um, but I'll show you the process of actually creating a site and publishing it. Uh, better. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Turbell does involve uh, some amount of command line work. We're working on that. Um, so now I'm on my command line. I'm going to type work on Tarbell. Uh, that step is optional. And now, uh, Tarbell's built around this idea of blueprints. So something that's, that, that sort of starts your project. So what I need to do is install a blueprint um, that I'm going to use for this uh, use for this presentation. This is the URL. Um, it's called the Deck Blueprint. It's designed to help you make slideshows. Um, and so I will type Tarbell install blueprint and then paste that URL. It's going to take a second. Hopefully the internet. Um, works properly. So the, like I said, so the idea of a Tarbell Blueprint is that it's a place where your, your project can start. Um, and, and, then, and so your organization can set up or, or uh, where you, you can set up sort of the ability to sort of quickly create projects that are similar to each other over and over and over again. Um, so now that I have this Blueprint installed, I'm going to say Tarbell new project Kai Pei Demo. It asks where I would like to create the project. Most of these prompts are designed for you simply to hit enter. Um, so I'm uh, going to call this the Kai Pei Demo project. I have to give it kind of a long name. Um, and now I have number four is that blueprint I just installed. So I'll say, yes, that's the one I want to use by selecting number four. Um, and we wait for a second. It's, if the internet's faster, it usually tends to be a little faster. Um, okay, so now it's going to ask, do I want to create a Google spreadsheet? 
So it automatically creates the Google spreadsheet that's going to drive the project. I say yes, and I hit enter again. And if I scroll up, here's the URL for that Google spreadsheet. That will become important in a second. Um, I'm just going to skip that step. And now, uh, similarly, what's one thing you have to do all the time? Create a GitHub repo. So I can say, yes, I want to create a GitHub repo. I'll type in my username and password. Um, and it automatically created the GitHub repository for this project. So another step that's a uh, little kind of annoying. And now I'm done. Um, so I can type in these two commands and start previewing my project locally. Localhost colon 5000, that's where I can preview that. Um, that is, okay, there's something wrong with the internet that causes that for some reason here. Um, so here is my project. I'm, I'm previewing it locally, uh, and so I can, um, it's just a little kind of sample content that we can take a look at. Um, so let's just change the very first slide and then publish it to the web. So I have just copied that spreadsheet URL. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, but it'll show up in my Google Drive at the very top. If we wait a second. And if I go to recent, I should see Taipei demo. Uh, and so I'm going to change this to say, hello, you are awesome. Thank you for having me. And so if I preview it again, I'll see it's just, so editing content in Tarbell is just as simple as changing values in a spreadsheet. Pretty cool. Um, depending on time, I'll show you some more of those features. Um, uh, so now we want to put it on the web. We want to put this project on the web. So I'm going to type Tarbell Publish. Um, and by default, uh, the system is set up to use my domain name, um, recoveredfactory.net, to uh, hold these files, uh, to store the files. Um, and so here it goes. It's publishing the site. And it takes a few seconds the first time that you run it. Um, any, any future time that you upload these files, if the file hasn't changed, uh, it won't it won't do anything so it's very fast and we'll see that in a second so here we go so uh, in less than five minutes we've set up a site previewed it changed a little bit of the content and published it to Amazon S3 um, Tarbell takes care of optimizing your assets so uh, your CSS and JavaScript are automatically minified so it's going to be very fast um, and as you can see here's the site um, that's been published. So let's say we want, who's got a funny GIF? Let's, let's find something um, that we might want to see. I don't know, somebody tell me. Um, uh, okay, that's great, this is good, these cats, free massage. Um, so, so I'm gonna copy this image URL, I'm gonna go to my spreadsheet, uh, one of the columns is the media URL column. In this particular spreadsheet, you can structure data however you want um, in the spreadsheet and then uh, have access to it through very simple templates, uh, which I don't think I will have time to show you. Uh, so, so all of these columns are not set in stone. You can change them to be what you want them to be. Um, so I'm going to change that URL. And if I go back and I preview the slides again, and I go to the second slide, it breaks. <laughs> I think it might be the, oh yeah, it's the slow internet. Um, so there it is. Uh, so now let's say uh, we want Google Analytics on our page. Well, it turns out that this default, uh, uh, okay, this default blueprint supports that. Um, so if I want Google Analytics, I can simply put it in this field, in this sheet, on the spreadsheet. Similarly, you want to make things shareable. So the description that will go on Facebook when we share this on Facebook, this is my awesome project. 
And finally, let's simply publish that uh, page again. We'll wait for a second as it uploads. I don't know why my internet is so slow, but this is the problem with live coding. <laughs> it's always slow. It's skipping anything that's new, so if we go back to recoveredfactory.net slash type a demo, thank you for having me. Here's the cats. And if we take this URL and go to Facebook and share it on Facebook, I think things are too slow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, yeah, there we go. And so it picked, the, it picked up our Facebook description. So a lot of the little things that you find yourself forgetting about or having to do at the end of projects, you can encapsulate them in uh, Blueprint and then repeat them over and over and over again. So Tarball is made so that uh, projects and frameworks for projects can be shared. Uh, and, uh, and it makes publishing easy. So check it out. Uh, Tarbell. Wait, where is it? Tarbell.io. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And that's the end of the video. Thank you. Now, uh, Ronnie has the CFC.